is, listen, is a position, but it's also a process. So the blood of Yeshua and the water of Yeshua from his side, the waters of Mikvah, have sanctified you and made you holy and blameless and declared you justified. What does justified mean? Just as if I've never sinned, right? Justified. Just as if I've never what? Sinned. Notice. But it's also an ongoing process of being set apart. In other words, Chris, you're not what you used to be, but you're also not yet what Yahweh is going to make you and you're going to be. You're not what you used to be, but you're also not yet what you're going to be. There are better things ahead. There are better days ahead. There's more molding and scalping and, and chiseling into his image. More. Now, could Yahweh have changed you overnight? Can Yahweh have made you instantly into his image? Oh, yes, yeah. of course he could. But what would have happened? You would have died on the operating table. There was too much work to do. Way too much work to do. You would have died on the operating table. That's like going into a medical physician. You need a valve, a heart valve, right? You need your arteries on a cloth, and you need to have, Yahweh forbid, a brain tumor removed. Okay? Yahweh forbid. Okay? No, if you, if you do all those things in one morning, sure, I'll be in, I'll be in, in the morning because I'm going to play golf for three weeks. I'm going to Catoon, Cat Catoon, where's that place in Mexico? Cancun. Nobody's going there. You, we can get some good rates if we <laughs> Honey, you want to go on, uh, what is that? What is that? Air biz? Travel biz? Expedia. Expedia. You think oh, we can get some good rates? That? Oh, yeah. we'll I bet you we can get some dirt cheap rates. Anybody it. down for a quick vacation over the border? <laughs> Tomorrow, new website. Konachowski takes them to Mexico.net. <laughs> Nadine, I told you to leave that group. You had your chance. You had your chance. You should have you just gone. Now it's too late. You and your You're only weeks away from the Kool Aid. <laughs> I need you buy the Kool-Aid. <laughs> Cherry Kool-Aid. Great. I'm no dummy, believe me. I know what goes on in the spirit realm, trust me. And the Ruach HaKodesh is also a witness. Notice. So Yahweh is changing us into his image. He, he, he says we are holy and righteous, blameless, justified by grace through faith. But the process is not over. He's continuing to mold us and make us more and more kadosh, set apart. And the Ruach HaKodesh is also a witness for us. See, that's why my heart cries. I don't, have a, I don't have a dog in this race. I don't have a pony in this race. My heart cries out for the people of Yahweh to do things the right way. Yesterday I was watching the Newsboys on DVD, or on tape, Devo. I taped it off of the gotcha. Newsboys got some good music. Yeah, they do. If they just use Yahweh's name and Yeshua's name, but I love their music. I just love the. I just enjoy the little rock sound and I enjoy their music. And I'm watching this guy from Australia, man, from down under, Peter, Peter Fuller. You got to see this concert. I got it on Devo. Dynamite. Dynamite. <coughs> and I'm like, what an anointed man of Yahweh. What an anointed man of Yahweh. Then I go on the internet. I want to see when they're coming to Florida so I can go see the newsboys. And they're coming to Orlando in September. And I go online and I see the lead singer has left. Peter Fuller, whatever his name is. And I wonder why he left. And the good news is that Michael Tate, the former lead singer of DC Talk. Oh, snap. Has now taken his place with the newsboys. Okay? DC Talk was Michael Tate and Toby Mac, right? Right. <laughs> Back in the 90s. So I'm like, hmm. So then I type into Google, the, what is the real reason that Peter Fuller has left? You know that guy I was watching yesterday? Well, he looks like Mr. Freeze. Right, right. Huh? Yeah. He was talking about his hair, even though he had none. Right. That guy. Exactly. And he says that on the road he cheated. On his way. And in order to make things right, he left the band mm -hmm. to make things right yeah. with his wife. See, that's that's why these when <coughs> I know the right way to do things. They wouldn't even need to happen. That Yahweh has showed us. Mm -hmm. He could have 
There's a way, there's an option, there's a way out. You don't have to break covenant with the wife of your youth. It's a burden in me. Tragic. Now, now that guy's there. I, mean, I, I probably have the last concert where he, that he was a part of. He'll never be seen again. Pitiful. I mean, it's just pitiful. Everywhere you look. How about the great Charles Stanley? Well, when I was a new believer, I used to listen to this guy every day. Yeah. I would listen to this guy every day. A great teacher of the word. I might agree with all his doctrine. But he really taught me a lot of things. I was a baby in the faith. Here's him and his wife. They're not together anymore. No. no. They separated or divorced. I don't know what the situation was. They're not together anymore. It's a burden. I know there's a solution for that, and that's why we keep pumping the things we keep pumping. Back to verse 15. And that's all part of being set apart. To learn the ways of Yahweh even when they're uncomfortable. That's all part of being more set apart. And the Ruach HaKodesh is a witness for us, for after that, he said before, this is the bread I will make with them after those days, says the Master Yahweh, I'll put my laws in their love, I'll vote. Their minds, I will, I will write them. Their sins and Torahlessness, I will remember no more. Where forgiveness of these is, there's no more offerings for sin. Having therefore Israelite brothers boldness to enter the Makom Kadosh. Notice, not the Holy of Holies, but the, not the Kadosh HaKadoshim, pero Makom Kadosh, by the dawn of Yeshua, by a new and living way, which he has set apart for us through the veil, that is to say, his what? Flesh. And having a Kohen HaGadol over the Beit HaMikdash of Yahweh, Yeshua the Kohen HaGadol. Look at 22, and I don't miss this, and we'll close with one or two more scriptures. Look at verse 22. Let us draw near with a true lave in full assurance of what? Emunah, having our levavot, or levim, but I changed it to levavot, it's more accurate. Sprinkled, there it is, sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure maya. So that sprinkling from evil by his blood, the washing of our bodies with pure water, it came out of his what? Side, correct? That is what the seven times sprinkling was all about. Amen. Yeshua said in Yohanan 10.10, 10, I have come that you may have life and have it what? More, More abundantly. So it's not just it's not just spiritual salvation. It's not just physical deliverance. It's not just financial deliverance. It's not just healing, medical deliverance. It is all the above and the blood sprinkles. Sprinkles. It's a continuing, ongoing yes. sprinkling. Can I hear a good omen? Right. The best Sorah was always the same. We, we close with the same verse we opened with. 24. Ibrahim 12, 24. Yeshua remains the mediator of the Brit Hadashah. And the dom of the sprinkling, meaning the principle of sevenfold sprinkling always existed, but he is the mediator of the bricha the shah, the dom of the sprinkling, and the blood of the sevenfold sprinkling still speaks. It spoke back then, before Yeshua was born. It spoke on earth while Yeshua was retained in the heavens. And it speaks today on earth and in heaven. Amen. The blood, the sevenfold sprinkling, still speaks. The shedding of the blood of Yeshua, as the church teaches it, doesn't speak at all. Because Yahweh never ordained his blood to be shed once, but seven times. Shabbat Shalom.